Bing to order at 6.32 on November 13th, 2017 at 6.32 p.m. Um, I make a motion that we accept the minutes. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements, do you have any, Curtis? Uh, yes, the planning board is meeting uh, this Wednesday at 7 o'clock here at the town hall in the next room over. And roller skating is this Friday, the 17th, at Troy School at 6.30 p.m. And there'll be flyers handed out to the school, hopefully tomorrow. Okay. That's it. All right. Oh, business. Um, complaints, Map 32, Lot 2A, Richmond Road. Um, and same with the Ridley. Map 12, Lot 3, Lot 11. We still haven't heard anything, Alyssa, from Mr. Ridley. Okay. Um, so we'll table that till next week. Job descriptions are doing very, very well. Um, we met again today for the second time since last Monday night, and we only have two remaining to be done. Um, forensic audit. And I have an update on that. Okay. I got a call from Sergeant Eaton of the State Police. Uh, they've looked it over there. He's going to be continuing the investigation. He's the one who did it a few years ago. And uh, he got in touch with uh, Jeff Graham, the forensic auditor, and got copies of what he had. But there were things that Mr. Graham did not have that, he will, that Sergeant Eaton will need. And he's asked uh, us to provide that for him. It's primarily invoices that Graham found. And uh, so Alyssa's uh, working on that. She's pulled the boxes of stuff. And when her, uh, the person that comes in and works here, part-time, mm -hmm. unpaid, comes in community service. Uh, she'll pull out the individual invoices, make copies of them, and we'll put the package together, and then we'll get it up to Sergeant Eaton, and then he'll be able to finish up his investigation. When he finishes that, he'll discuss it with the county attorney, and they will make a decision whether to proceed. Okay, so we're pulling him for the second time, right, Alyssa? Mm -hmm. We pulled him for Graham now, okay. Um, fundraiser. We do have an update on that. No. Um, I called the um, Attorney General's office, spoke with Carrie Knowles, and she advised us that the town of Troy, no department, should be doing any fundraising for lawyers' fees for the people that used to be on the ambulance. But I have told Mark. So, okay. um, Mark said something about maybe trying with the churches to see if there's something they could do. But as town, any town departments, we can't do it. Or a town employee. Right. Any town employee cannot. Well, we can go volunteer our time. But right, as but as, as, well, as a town, town employee. Right. Well, that was, that was never the intent that it would be done on town time. Right. What if we passed the hat at town meeting? Pass the what? Pass the hat. Ask for donations. I don't know. We are in a public, we are in a town venue doing a, the town is still involved. I was here when she talked with Terry, and it cannot have anything at all to do with the town itself. Right. Absolutely none. So I think right now we need to remove this from the agenda. No, what we need to do is find a way to do it legally. So if somebody in town steps up, it doesn't work for the town. No, they can, it can be a town employee as long as it's not on town time. No. No? It can't, like, because I asked, well, what if the fire department did a breakfast and took all their money that they raised from their breakfast and donated it to them? Can't do it. No, yeah. I, obviously you can't there because they're doing it on a, on a town facility. Mm -hmm. It can't be, um, and, and if they're doing that, any money they raise from a breakfast is supposed to go into their account. Mm -hmm. It would have to be done separately. It would have to be done off premises. But, you know. But they, it can't save by the Troy Fire Department or by the Exactly. Troy if you say Troy Fire Department, then it's a town function. Mm -hmm. But a, a person who is employed by the town can, on their own time, run a fundraising activity mm -hmm. to raise money to pay the legal fees of the former ambulance department members, as long as they don't use town resources of any kind, including the name of the town. Mm -hmm. Plus, there was a problem getting the EIN number. You don't need an EIN number. 
You only you'll only need that if you want to get a 501c3 to do it. And your 501c3 can't do this. Be what? Go ahead and tell him. Because it's for we'd have to if you didn't do it that way and right. had it for the group, you'd have to set up checking accounts with each right. one of their social security numbers in separate accounts. You have to have a social security number or a tax ID number to open a checking account. Why would you even have to open a checking account? Where are you going to put the money? If, well, if, if it's being done separately from the town, let's say that, um, let's say there's somebody in town, um, John's pulling me out of that, John Sullivan, for example, sorry, John, <laughs> decides to run this fundraiser and um, put something in Troy Town News, which is not a town publication, and manages to generate enough interest and collect a bucket of money and then hands that over or parcels it out to the people who uh, were who had the legal expenses. The town, let me finish. The town is not involved. There's no checking accounts. Attorney General, the charitable trust unit is where Terry works. Um, so she's telling you how to do it if you're going to do it in accordance with, with their requirements. But if you do it outside of the town, the charitable trust unit is not involved. Okay, so in other words, John is keeping all the cash and checks. Yes. In his cookie jar in his kitchen. Yeah. And then he's going to divide it up. Yeah. Between the people himself. You're not obligated by any of this, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah. Why didn't somebody just do a GoFundMe? Because well, because you can't. Suggested. Because Why? people don't want to participate in that. There's people in town, I guess the word is, they don't want to give any type of money to that GoFundMe page. I, I wouldn't. Because they keep... I'll give, them, I'll give them a check personally, but I would never go through GoFundMe. It's run by Tommy Pinkos, for one thing. So, with, with that, what I just described, <laughs> do you see that as violating the law? No, as long as nobody wrote a check, what are you gonna, how are you going to cash it if you don't have a check in well, somebody well, writes a check. Well, depends on how you make the check out. If you make the check out to John Sullivan. Right. He cashes it. Yeah. But John's going to be rich. Okay, so Aren't you glad you came here tonight, John? I am. <laughs> now John gets audited by the IRS, and he sees all these checks that came in his name that he was cashing. Yeah. It's money he didn't claim on his taxes. And oh, he's going to donate it all. So he can well, claim it as a donor. Oh, no, 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 no. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> if you make a chair, the reason the, the organizations become 501c3s is so that donations to them are tax deductible. If you raise money for a named individual or individuals, those donations are not tax deductible. Correct. So any money that anybody donates to this fundraiser, they cannot deduct it on their income taxes. But it makes them feel good that they did the right thing. How much money are we looking for? About five grand, is it? What was it? Oh, that? It was a lot more than that. They Personally, they are getting Sued for ten grand each. Yes. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, oh yes. Ten grand was the threat of the fine. Right. That's and not. That's not. It's what all they, the attorneys' fees that go along with that. Right, but they didn't get the fine. Oh really? And the charges. The whole thing was dropped. Now they just all have lawyers' bills. Got to pay their attorneys. Yeah. The yeah. Thing was only about Lawyer, five grand. But yeah. Lawyer bills is all they have. But that okay. was four something. Yeah. Almost five. It was last. Year. So for last year it was for five thousand seven hundred and seventy five and then they had wrote a separate request for payment of the two thousand and seventeen fees will be made at the end of the two thousand and seventeen year. So seven we'll grand. be over and above yeah. that, so that doesn't mean we have to get the whole seven grand, get as much as we can. Every little bit helps. But that was only for one person, one family. No, that was all of them fine. All right. I, I don't want to see this drop. It it, it it may not go anywhere, but I think we still have an obligation, a moral obligation, to put more effort into this. And how do we move forward and do that? I mean, no one has, we have asked people if they would be willing to take it in hand and move forward and raise the money. No one has come forward. John? <laughs> 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 no, um, if you put the word out and wait for people to come forward, nobody will ever come forward. You have to go out and actively recruit. Well, we did that also. Okay, all right. You asked the wrong people. Right. 
Well, you did too. They were sitting right over there where the roses are sitting. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we can discuss this further, but uh, maybe we shouldn't even be discussing this in a selectman's meeting because this is town time, town, right. town business. Exactly correct. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Okay. <clears throat> TRG. Anything, Curtis? Nothing. Okay. Central Square complaint, Mr. Foley. He's coming in, but he's not here. He'll be here at 7.45. Okay. Troy Mills parking lot. I sent an invoice. We'll wait now. How does it look? How does it look, David? Has he cleaned it up? Last week there was three piles. He had all scraped it all up into the middle of those three piles. I'm not sure if it's been cleaned up. I haven't been by there. Okay, and you haven't I noticed. Today, no. Okay. It hasn't been since this weekend. We're still there. The Was piles? it the yeah. three piles? Okay. Maybe what we could do is when you get back, make a note when you get back. We'll check it and give him a call if there's still the three piles there, but wait till you get back. Okay, DES, the letter on the landfill sampling. Yeah, uh, they're looking, there's a requirement that certain landfills, and I don't know if ours is among them, have to do certain testing for certain hazardous chemicals. Uh, they're also looking for similar testing for certain fire departments to use a certain kind of uh, foam. I don't know if we're using any of that. I, I think the best thing to do is to ask Jim Dicey to read this letter. He'll be able to tell from reading this letter whether or not the landfill or the uh, behind the transfer station, mm -hmm. whether that meets the requirements or whether the fire department is using that stuff. He can do both. So I'll leave that right there, Alyssa. Would you pass that on to him? Thanks. Okay. Be fresh, Chris Stewart agenda request form. That's the solar project. Okay, so we'll just check it off and table it till next time. All right, as long as David's here, do you want to move forward and we'll do the budget for David? You ready, David? Well, let's do new business because I'd like, uh, okay, the I'd like our police chief to be present for this. Okay, we had um, a request from, what's the name of the restaurant? Dragon Palace. Oh, Dragon Palace. Um, they applied for a license to have, get Kino. And they got it. That's all we know. And they, they, they do. How did they get it? Because like Keen was just right, trying they to get it up there it down. and that, the, the board could vote it down, the people could they, vote They that did down, vote so. it down. Yeah, I think seven towns in the state voted yes and three voted no. Mm -hmm. And when I didn't, did I didn't, vote? I'm sorry? When we did vote. We did. We did. It was only offered to the cities. <laughs> so that's why I'm curious as to how, how this it. happened. I don't know. I don't know either. Well, I was here today when he called and he called and he said he applied for it and he said he received it. Did he say he received the license or he received a package back that requires signatures? I said that's a state Right, I heard her say that. Issue, you gotta go to the state. I got that, but the town has to vote, or the select board has to vote. Mm. Oh, now he could it be correct, like, and the town has to vote. Yeah, it sounds like he doesn't have the license. It sounds like he applied for it, and they probably sent it back saying you need this from the select board. Mm. But do we have that? Did you bring it in? Okay. No, he hasn't. All right, I'd, I'd like to see that. Okay. Um, what did he say he wanted from us? Vote. Whatever we needed. But to you do. need something in writing, right? I, I'm not. We don't know until he brings it in. Right. It's closed tomorrow, so I couldn't go see him. Mm -hmm. I got the number to call him Wednesday. Oh. All right. Okay, tell him he needs to come in and let uh, us know exactly. What exactly is involved with Kino? It's a game. I, I know, but what is the game? It's a. Do they have a roulette wheel up there? Or one of the big wheel of fortune type thing? Isn't it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think it's like or is it cards yeah, where you scrape them off? It's computerized. Numbers. Computerized? Okay. You pick, you pick numbers and yeah. they come up at random. Oh, ah, okay. Slot machine. Oh, it's like a slot machine? Well. But it's numbers instead of symbols. No. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah. You have a card, you fill it out, you can play a, a bunch of different ways on it. Well, 
Does anybody know? I did not know that you could apply individually. For well, yeah, you'd Kino. have to. If Keen, if Keen had voted, you would think with a name like Keen, they would want Keno, you know. But if Keen had voted to allow it, that would just mean that business owners in Keen could then apply for the permit. Oh, got it. So I'm not into gambling, I don't know. Are they? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering how it even comes down to a town. I, mean, I didn't follow it that closely on the news, but it sounded like it was only offered to the cities. And the Large. cities had to vote, because well, they vote in November for their city elections. And so that was a, a, a ballot referendum or something like that. And they had the, the, the choice whether to allow Keno into their cities Correct. or not. Right. But we weren't even given the option. So I'm wondering how does a business owner in a town even get a response from them? Well, maybe maybe there is paperwork that shows that has to come in front of the yeah. town first, and that's where you yeah. just. Well, that might be part of the packet. He apparently talked to the state already, so. Well, that's where he'd get the packet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I so, I don't see where we can do anything with this. No, not until we have more. information to yeah. read and. Right. No, so we so will table, table yeah, we'll table, table Kino until next week. No, until, do you, would you, I think we should talk about the meeting next week. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead. Well, what I was going to say is Alyssa is not going to be here. She will be out of town next Monday. And it will be the Selectman's Week for all their budgets. As we go over the budgets and re review them for the selectmen, there are always numerous questions that are put to Alyssa. And she pays the bills. She is the only one that can answer whatever concerns we may have. So instead of wasting time and coming in and only going over part of the budget, I think we should cancel next week's meeting and the following Monday, which would be the 27th, we will review our budget. Okay, that's actually two separate things there. First is, should we postpone review of the selectmen's portion of the budget? We have three Monday nights, including next Monday, Correct. to review things prior to going to the budget, budget committee. committee. Right. Based on prior years, we need one and a half meetings to do it. We'll probably get through two-thirds of it in one Monday night, finish it up the next. So I don't see a problem in postponing it and not covering our budget next Monday night. So then on the 27th, we'll go through it and do as much as we can with it that night. Okay. Yeah, anything we don't get to that night, we'll do December 4th. Okay. So and then, then, and then three nights later, we go to the budget committee. That is the only thing on the agenda for next month. For next Monday night. Correct. So, uh, want to take a night off? I do. I make a motion that we cancel next Monday's selectmen's meeting and resume the following Monday. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Are you ready, David? Or wait a minute, we have to do correspondence first. There's not a lot in there. Good. <clears throat> okay, what did we receive? Yeah, actually, I would hold that for non public. Oh. Nothing. Uh, we received um, something from the attorney local over in non-public. Oh, is this someone interested in the vacancy of health officer? No, well, that's the state asking us to tell them who our health officer is. Oh. Who would like to fill this out? Curtis, Alan? Well, we don't have a health officer. <laughs> I know, so. <laughs> There's nothing to fill out. It needs to be somebody on the board. No, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Is this old business or new? Department of Commerce. That's the census thing? Do we keep tabling? Correct. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they want us to participate 
in a this is in anticipation of the census coming up in 2020 they want us to participate in a project to make sure all their addresses are current if you read through that it doesn't really tell us what they want us to do it just says will you participate that could be meaning just sign off on it it could mean doing all the work uh, they're running a workshop in Merrimack this Friday and I'm going to attend it the purpose of the workshop is to explain to municipalities what it is they're looking for do you want to take this or yeah thanks Okay. So I, got the, I got the impression that uh, a lot of towns are doing what we did. It's just tabling it week to week. Well, that's a lot of man hours to go through. It may be. It may be. But we, the thing is, that it's so vague. It doesn't say what's involved. If we sign on to it, what are we signing on for? We don't know. But there was no instruction on it. No. Okay. So do you want to participate or not? Okay. David, you're up. You are first. I want to do the annual control card. Sure. I think we all vote before the big budget. What um, I've done on that is got rid of the animal control office's position altogether. We've been doing it right along. Um, the last um, animal control officer was just really available during, he worked during the day, so he's only available a couple hours a night. So we just decided to do it, so I just got rid of that position altogether um, and put under purchasing equipment. I went from 200 to 500 only because I need to buy another pole for the other cruiser, so we'll have two animal uh, poles in there, maybe another, get a, uh, another uh, cage so that oh. when we do pick up a dog, we can keep it here for a little while. We put it on our web, you know, on our Facebook, See if anybody recognizes it. If it don't have tags, sometimes because it costs us a hundred dollars every it dog in. to take to the main society, um, and also it's ten dollars a cat, and people just they have this program up there where you can just bring in a cat if you find one, and I've argued with them because I said I should know if there's a cat going in because we might know that it's their cat and why should we pay 10 bucks for it when it's their, really their cat. If it's a stray, okay, there's nothing we can do about it if we don't know the owner. And so they've been pretty good. They've called and said, yeah, we have so-and-so bringing a cat. Okay, no, I don't think they ever had a cat, so maybe it is a stray. So we've been, like I say, I think we've only, oh, what we did, roughly 240 this year. <coughs> I think that was that be, one dog and the rest were cats. Really? Yeah. I was going to say two dogs and four cats, so now we're talking oh, 14 no, cats. Yeah, it, yeah. The whole okay. year. Okay. At 10 bucks. So that's why the only other thing is $500. I went up to 500 on the Monadnock Humane Society in case we, you know, but what we do is we do try to find the owners of the dog before we take it up there and get charged 100 bucks. And that's it, just a thousand dollars for that. And that's down over last year, so. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't have to pay anything, an animal control office or anything. <coughs> or we pay the social security or anything like that, so. Um. Okay, I make a motion that we select the animal control budget. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And emergency service building. Um, on the um, building maintenance and repair, last year was a thousand dollars. We spent eleven hundred this year, eleven hundred fifty-nine. I went to fifteen hundred because there's a few other things to get up to the safety our safety board that we would go around. Joint Loss Management Committee? Yes. Um, so um, I can see a few things we're going to need to purchase. So I went to 1500 um, Electricity, we put 2500 in last year, but it, so far it's only been 1600 so I went down to $2,200. Um, stayed the same on the monitoring of the alarm system. Um, 
the general supplies, um, we put 200 in last year, we spent 373, that went to 300 on that. Um, the generator service is 250, that's done once a year. So they just did it, um, and I got the bill for 250, so that's why it doesn't show that it's been taken out yet. Um, left it at 250. Oil heat, we put in 3,000, we only spent 1,300, so I went down to 2,000, took 1,000 off of that. I think we'll be fine once oil heat goes way up, but I think we're going to be good. Um, oil burner service, put 100 bucks in because it's $90 to have this burner service. Liability insurance, that is the ambulance apparently pays for that. It's all under the one property insurance. They don't separate it with it. Okay, so that that was zero. There's no money. That was sixteen hundred. That no money in there. Is so. it that way every year, Alyssa? Will it be parceled out again? It'll it will. Be, it'll st it'll be just like this. Okay, so can we eliminate that line item? Well, we have to hold it on there at zero for so many years, and then we can. Okay, so then uh, the property insurance. Um, we did 307 last year, it was 241. Um, Alyssa figured it out, so 262 is what we'll be paying this year or for next year. Propane gas, 150. I checked the tanks, it probably should be that the LP only runs the generator that um, keeps the building if we lose power. Um, the fire extinguishers are 50 bucks, so the total was $7,004. Last year was 9,300, You got a quick question. The oil burner service is only $90? Yeah. I'm just really surprised it's that low. Come in and clean it? I'm just saying that because uh, the budget committee qu uh, questioned um, Mark when he canned it. Because he was like oh, 300 or something? Mm -hmm. Maybe he had, has a different type. Well, I paid more than that for my horse. Thank you. Um, more than 90? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why well, do two, but not a lot more? Well, cleaning. I'm surprised it's that an industrial building, business the building, department. would be wondering. less. I don't know. This is what it's... Well, yeah, I don't see Let's not thing, fight it. So <laughs> it comes here and... Okay, I'm good shows with that this that it was $90 spent this year. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> I make a motion that we pass the budget. At seven thousand four. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the police okay. revenue offset. And on that one, pretty much. Um, the OHIV grant, the enforcement patrol, the DWI, those all, um, we didn't apply for those this year, so we don't have to have any figures in there. So for the special detail salaries, though, um, I went to 20000 because so that we wouldn't go over like we had talked before. Mm -hmm. um, and then the only other thing is the workers' comp is 5000 uh, 500 So from 25392 down to 20500 on that one. Yeah, and I think we'll put a little bit more in there because, Alyssa, you'll be plugging in the Social Security. So when we pay that out, it already comes out of the police department's line edit. It's not separated out for just that. We have to do separate checks for every special duty pay. And we don't do that, correct? No, we don't. Yeah. I'm not following you. What is the issue? There, are, it's already taken out on the police department budget. Hard to take what out? Social Security. Social Security. Oh, okay. All right. Retirement, all that is already in the PD. Okay, so it's you're saying? I, okay, I had no idea what you were talking about. You're saying you don't want to take Social Security and Medicare and all the other stuff out of this budget. You'd rather add it to the police department budget. Yeah, it's already in there. So fine. That. It's always That's there. fine. Okay, that wasn't clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I move, I make a motion 
that we accept the budget at twenty thousand five hundred. Second. All in favor? Aye. Selectmen okay. before we started that you are behind and yeah. it would be nice to get caught up and stay caught up. Yeah, in 10 hours, uh, <coughs> the, the, if you want to see the New Hampshire Municipal Association, uh, what theirs is the the, um, the towns, let's see, like, I'll, I'll just say Fitzwilliam and for general, they have an, uh, a secretary for 20 hours a week. Um, and Chesterfield, they're a little bit bigger. A few more people, 35 hours a week. Chester, 40 hours a week. Um, you know, Canterbury, 24 hours a week. Um, so we're still at the low end of the poll. We're still at the low end, but I can, I can deal with it. Um, well, it's more help than you had before. Right, right. So, um, any questions on that at all? I mean, nope, I don't have anything. Okay. All right, so we'll go down on, uh, didn't change the mandatory training, left that at $1,500. <coughs> um, ammunition, I kept it at $1,000. We paid uh, $819 uh, for ammunition this year, for, mostly for practice and qualifications. Um, 
vehicle insurance went up. I was not aware because um, I've been going by what we've always had, and we had the four. We've had the four wheeler since 2004. And apparently, there's never been insurance on it, so I had to add the four wheeler onto the insurance. Really? Yeah. Uh, Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Glad nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, me too. <clears throat> Especially so, during the bicentennial when we used it for days <laughs> on end. So that's why it's um, 1720 instead of 1,000. Uh, that's the two cruises, the four-wheeler trailer, the enclosed trailer, and four-wheel. Okay. okay. Is that everything now? That, that you all is sure, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, computer support, I kept it the same, 8000 Um We spent 7310 Is that going up this year? I just uh, meant to ask you that. No, okay. Um, the uh, copy of service agreement, left it at 1500 We paid uh, 1273 this year. Um, disability insurance, paid about the same. Well, we had 2100 in there, but we only spent 1428 so I took it down to 1439 which um, apparently that's going to be going down a little bit. Um, that one's not. That one's not. No. So, do, is so this 1439 is, is enough. It is. Uh, huh? We'd go up to 1450 on that. Okay, 1450. 1450? <laughs> Memberships um, left it at 200. Um, I spent 100 this year. I wanted to on that one, but again, uh, maybe something we can just talk about. I'd like to also have that where dues memberships and I need buy money to because I agree. we're making some drug deals you know, drug buys and stuff, and I'm taking it like out of general because I don't have any money to make these buys. Um, so I didn't know where, if you guys might have a better suggestion, where in here I could do that. Um, I do have a, which I was going to talk later about it, was um, <coughs> an article to put in for a, a revolving account. Um, there's a few towns that have this, um, that all the fines from drug paraphernalia ordinances and alcohol, uh, open container ordinances, go in a special revolving account where I could use, you know, I can buy equipment with that money. That's what some towns are doing. They, they, it takes a while, but they, they actually buy cruisers with that money and it doesn't, affect the town budget at all. Um, Where does it, that money go now? It goes into general fund. Oh. And we write a lot of open, I mean, uh, drug paraphernalia, and that's a hundred, hundred bucks every one that comes to the town. But it would make sense for that, for a drug-related fine, to... Right. You know... It, I, yeah, t I could use that as buy money as, and I wouldn't yeah, have to put as it in seed money so for I mean, does that require a warrant article or is that it something does. it does okay. it does I got a copy of um, the one that Walpole just did last year um, well 2016 yeah um, which just explains what it's used for and everything I got a copy here um, so when we do the warrant articles I'll come in and ask if that would be it yeah, I think we should do that. Oh, yeah, we're, we're starting to put our list together of warrant articles. So. Where would any property that um, was seized in um, something of that nature go? Um, well, if we did seize any kind of property, we'd have to go through the forfeiture um, process with the state, uh, with the Attorney General's office, and see if we could get it. But. Um, 
these people don't really own anything. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Uh, the other question about where to get the cash for the drug buys, I think we need to check with DRA to see how they want to handle that. Okay. So Alyssa, could you contact them and see what they say on that? So we just, I just. I've mean, got a lot of ideas on how we should do it, but I don't know if they're legal. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll just leave that one. Well, if there, the and if there are other hundred. towns doing what you suggested to oh, do. Well, the, the revolving account. Thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. There is an. Okay. I can get those. You know. um, equipment purchase was twenty five hundred last year. I'm, I'm leaving it at twenty five hundred. I spent fourteen hundred. But there's a couple more things I always wait for the meeting end of the year to see if what budget looks like and if you know I can grab buy a couple more flashlights, things like that. So um, I left that the same. Same with equipment repair. Um, I left it at seven hundred. Shows I only spent eighty three fifty for equipment repair. And I don't know. I'm what type of equipment are we talking about? Well, like if I take the four wheeler down to be serviced or something. Oh, well, you do that throughout the year for all of them. Don't you have oil changes and things like that? Yeah, but like that comes that? out of the other ones for vehicles. But usually, equipment repairs um, is like if the four wheeler needs to take it down, have that serviced, and any kind of equipment that needs repair. Okay, it was a good year then, apparently, David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or what I did was I took it out of gen uh, general or something instead of oh, okay. out of that one, the, the particular day. Um, yeah, because gen oh, this is general supplies, though. Right, yeah, it's general over. supplies, I went over yeah. um, some on that. But I left that at 400. I'll just manage that a little better because I think I put the wrong number in, and it should have been actually equipment repair, but I can okay. look into that. Okay. Uh, but, uh, let's see, law books. Doesn't show I spent any, but I just ordered them. <laughs> and uh, it's less than $100. So I put <coughs> in 100 The state seems to put out new law books every year. Like this year, the one I'm ordered was 1718. Next year, Will be eighteen, nineteen before even nineteen shows up. So I mean, but the laws and I wait to see if there is any changes in them before I. The laws do change every year. Mm. Um. Okay. The health insurance. Um. I left that at at the fifty-eight, six fifty-nine. Um. Just anticipation that the other officer that. Um, I hire to take next place um, will either need the family plan or he won't need it, but at least it's been there mm -hmm. now yep. as a family plan. Well, books to the internet, same thing, $200. Um, the police professional liability, and went to 6140 from 6000 What is that, insurance? What is that? What is it? Life insurance. Okay. Um, okay, life insurance. Put my glasses on that are in my hand. Um, Two hundred dollars. Um, it was only one hundred and fifty this year, so I went down from two ten to two hundred. Meal reimbursement one hundred and fifty. Which I use some of that today because I'm hosting a. Uh, Instructors class for the pepper ball guns uh, at the community center today and tomorrow. So that I'll be because um, I bought coffee and donuts this morning. Um, property insurance that was it's under the emergency services building. Yeah, so that's a zero. We don't need that on in this office supplies. 750 last year. I left it at 750. Was spent 615. Um, and a lot of things like with that with office supplies. Um, like I just had to order another box of 300 warning slips. When we stop a car, we write a warning slip. 
No, so that's like three hundred dollars for a box. So pretty expensive. Post office box didn't change. Postage like went down to a hundred dollars from one twenty five because we only spent one twenty five this year. But postage is going up, you know. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, not that much. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the radio repair radar um, 650. I left it at 650. We had a year where I had to buy um, <coughs> a lot of batteries for the radios because they they were been so long since we've had any batteries, new batteries for the radios. Did you buy them for the fire department as well? Don't their radios or they're not the same ones? Uh, two of our radios aren't the same. We have a, a couple that are. Just like the fire department, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, regional prosecutor, still nothing. Um, still taking care of the prosecution. Um, fire extinguishers, $150. Oh, haven't got a bill for that yet. I don't know why. They came like in the summertime. <coughs> And Social Security um, went down to four thousand from five thousand uh, because should have only spent twenty six seventy this year so far. State retirement um, we left it the same thirty five five twenty eight right now as of right now it's thirty two fifteen um, and we still got two months so. Um, the basic phone, telephone, um, we spent 650 we put in 870 last year, I went to 800 just in case things go up on that one. Uh, the cell phone, um, we put 1500 in last year, took it down to 1000 because we've only spent 584 this year. Um, travel reimbursement three hundred. Um, didn't go anywhere this year. Um, the uniforms. Um, I left it at two thousand. We spent twelve hundred, but I'm gonna again. I, I wait till this time of the year. If I got any left, I'll buy couple shirts or something for the guys or if we need new pants, <coughs> ask them what they need. Um, but you also have a new person coming on board and, that right. you will need to. Right. So then um, on <coughs> fuel, the gasoline, put in 10000 last year, we spent 6400 put 8000 in from 10 just in case gas prices go up. But we try to try to um, conserve gas as much as we can. I mean, sit somewhere on radar instead of just running from line to line and wasting gas. So, repairs for the Dodge Charger, I left it 1200 We spent 1300 this year. The reason for that was it needed brakes and rotors all the way around. That was close to $1,100. Um, and then, the normal oil changes and stuff go in that same line item. So I left that at 1200 because I won't need rotors and brakes next this coming year, I hope. And uh, same thing with the Dodge. Um, the other reason I, I keep it at 12 is because if we have any, act, if there's any accidents or anything, our insurance is a thousand dollar deductible. And so I leave that in because there's no other line item where I take a thousand dollars out if mm -hmm. something happened. Um, one of the guys backed into a telephone pole down at the community center and the back bumper got dented. That was, I don't know, like three hundred and something dollars I think. Instead of doing insurance I just paid for it. It was cheaper that way. That's why I leave it kind of at twelve hundred. That way in case there is any accidents or anything and we have to that would cost more than a thousand dollars. We can pay that deductible. Um, tires for the charger left at a thousand. Spent uh, seven hundred this year. 
Some of that was the prices of tires. I should have ordered them in the summertime, but I ordered them after they shut down the wells and stuff, so prices did go up I, from what I bought them in, in the spring. Um, but I left those, that at the charger at $1,000 for tires and the Ram $1,200, um, even though I only spent, well, actually, I just <coughs> ordered it. No, that should be already paid. Okay. I ordered uh, two new ones for the uh, charger. Um, and then the workman's comp um, went from 6000 down to 5500 Yeah. We need to add 336, what? 337. With the 11 dollars. <throat> so that's um, like six, five thousand, five thousand something. Mm -hmm. I make a motion that we pass. It, it's like five thousand four something up from last year. I make a motion that we pass the police department budget three hundred and thirty-six three seventy-seven. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, as long as you're here. Festival oh, yes. Committee. Festival. Okay, you two do not have <laughs> copies of the Festivals Committee budget, but I want to um, go back to our budget <clears throat> and eliminate some things. Um, number one, we had a line item for fundraising expense. And David and I would like to eliminate that line completely. Don't want to even leave a dollar in it? Not okay. even a dollar. Okay. Okay. Another thing we would like to do is patriotic purpose. We want to split it out and put the flags, which are Jimmy's flags, that go on the poles, the $400 we want to take that out of the festivals committee budget and put it back in patriotic purpose. Also the same with the high school band. <coughs> but if you would like to leave the high school band in our budget, we will do it. But we Why do you want to split those up? Because it's very confusing. David, well it is. You had thought that we had $700 more to spend than we actually did there is more than one person looking at the budget throughout the year. That 700 is not flagged for patriotic purpose. It is just thrown in with all of our other funds. So our 5,000 and the 700 are all one account. Now if I should die tomorrow, David could spend $5,700 and would not know the difference because it's a revolving account. You told me once, so I, I would know. But I know now. <laughs> so that's the point. Um, the money has to be there for the high school band. And Jimmy doesn't even spend very rarely his 400 for well, flags. That's the thing. What I mean, how much, we just replaced all the pole flags, didn't we? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No, no. You the one in the common? Yes. These and the one here, over here? Only the, the common. That's the all the festival side. committee pays for, is the common. Right. I'm talking about the other big flags mm -hmm. that are on the floor. That are raised. Right. We're, we just changed some of them, didn't we? Those are still I brand new, I think. I mean, I just wonder why we need even $400. He's how, much is a, how much is a pole, I mean, a flag for one of them poles? Well, I don't know, but my point is, if we parcel it out, that will be Jimmy's amount, too. Yeah, we want to get, the, well, there's a patriotic purpose. Right, account. which would be, which well, is controlled going, by him. Right, the patriotic purpose was not, not actually on your budget. Yes, remember, the budget committee 
for what you actually have for line items. Patriotic purposes is not even something on your line item. It is. It's 5701. It's That's what I'm telling you. It is added in there. It's on there. You have um, yeah. flags are right here, $400. Flags are there, Curtis, $400. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And entertainment is where they put the $300 because it was a band. It's the high school band. They're both on there. <clears throat> okay, but you're calling them patriotic purposes, but they fall underneath entertainment. Remember, that's what the budget committee was confused all about. Because you don't actually have a line item for patriotic purposes in your budget. Okay, we didn't do this. Right. I'm just letting you know that when you go back to the budget committee, this is all going to be questioned again because you don't actually have a line item for this. We know that. Okay. That's that's what no, I'm trying to... Well, there's a budget for patriotic purposes. Am I wrong? There is a budget. Last year they changed it and moved it over to the Troy Festivals. But it's not on there. It's no. They, they just put it in oh, under flags. They just put it in put it under they put no, it on flags, not patriotic purposes. So that's what we can't, you don't call it patriotic purposes, right. you call it flags, because that's what the budget but, committee was all worried, was concerned but about. But it like. is patriotic purpose. No, the line item is flags. Correct. That's where the 400 went. Nothing to do with patriotic purposes. It says flags. That's all it is. Which is? Which was moved from? Patriotic so purpose. Right. That's but all I want to do. Just move it back. That's what I want to do. With it. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> it's yours. So as you <laughs> see, okay. Fine, I'm we're just gonna go through. We'll go through this line by line. All right. So the advertising. Um. We had three sixty in there last year. We spent four twenty four fifty. We're gonna ask for three sixty again, and not advertise an extra time. Decorations, um, two hundred. Holy gee, yeah, they, it showed twenty seven hundred last year. Right, which is incorrect. <clears throat> and so anyway, spent one forty two. So we asked for two hundred on that. Um, well, entertainment. Oh what? Um, so you're not requesting the thirty five hundred that's was originally. That's dropping down to two hundred. No, the thirty five hundred is going is down in the fireworks. That's what it's for. That right. was what Where do you for. go to the budget committee? Hmm? We did to... already. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we just got to give it to them again. I'll do it tonight. Right. I do the my police budget. We changed our mind. Right? I'm just thinking this process that we're doing right now Yes. would probably be easier if you just said, forget everything we did before. Here's the budget we want. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, move this over here and do that. Right. Right. Well, he just said, move that. I have no idea what you're okay. talking about. Well, yeah. It's just because just going what, just what happened last you, time. Yeah. You went in front of the, pay, the budget committee with different line items. It didn't even uh, go onto your budget. Correct. So you were talking about things that you didn't have a say on, technically, because it's not on your budget sheet. This is what you have for your line items. Yeah, that's what So I this is what we have to... But you can add a line item. Correct. But if you're going to do that, add it when you go back to the budget committee, because that was... No, they, they told us to come back here and do it. So we're doing it. Okay. So, but then that, if you're going to add the line items, it's just we got to... We're not adding any line items. If you were. Oh, if we were. Yeah. Okay. No, we're not. Okay. We're just going by so what this So 200 says. for the requested for... For the decorations. decorations. Okay. Okay. Um, and then entertainment. We had 300 last year. We're going to 1,000 this year. That way, it's going to up, that's going to include ponies. the ponies, pony rides, a couple times, two times, um, the the summer festival and the fall festival like we did this year. Those are, that's three hundred bucks a piece, um, and then what we're going to do with music is we're not going to hire any bands. We're going to just we may hire a band once, but um, the rest of the time we're just going to use, uh, you know, iPod with or whatever you call it with a speaker and stuff like we did the night of the the um, Halloween thing. Yeah. Um, so that's what 
why we went off on the entertainment was to add those together. Now, but did we put the high school band into that or not? Mm -hmm. We did. Okay, so the high school band went in that, not another band. It was the high school band we'll pay, we'll pay out of this okay. instead of that or other. Or we will put them both in patriotic purpose, which we could do. Okay, it's in, we'll take okay. a thousand for that one. Keep okay. it in entertainment. The fundraising okay. is zero. Fundraising is zero? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we can get rid of that. Anyway, get rid of the entire make. line item. Fourth of July fireworks for 3500 See where that was in two different places before? Well, yeah. It's in just the, what we're using it for, the fireworks. Um, under flags is $100. What that is, is that's for the flags on the poles that go around the common if we need them. Because they, they get we will. ripped up sometimes. <laughs> And they're ten bucks a piece, so that's why, if we need to replace them all at one point, that'd be a hundred dollars. Ten times ten is a hundred dollars. Yep. Okay. Um, so, and then general supply just a hundred and thirty dollars. In case we need any supplies, we had one thirty one last year. We spent twenty nine. Um, and then affordable toilets for three sixty. Which is an item that cannot be reduced when you discuss it at budget. <clears throat> so. so then, okay, so the total ended up being, is that a three or five? Five. Fifty-six fifty. Fifty-six fifty. Yep, that's what I got. Okay. That's what you got? Yep. Any questions? I'm going to need a copy of that. Just send it to Lisa. Okay. okay. I make a motion to pass the Festivals Committee budget for $5,650. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I'll make it before we leave, Alyssa. Where's Something else for us? No? Okay. Um, can we help you? You were here first. 5750. No, 5650. What can we do for you? No, it, it's. Um, What's well, um, next on the agenda? Well, they aren't on there. Brian probably is, but they were here previous, so. We will take well, well, a lot of people here are members of the public just attending the meeting. Yeah. Well, I think we have to go by Is the agenda. Is that why you're here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brian, can we help you? Yes. Um, I'm ready to take a seat right here. Oh, uh, I, I live in <coughs> one central square, box one. And I received a out of compliance report with no description on it at the seventh month. I didn't get that. Would you repeat that sentence, please? Okay, I got a. So it would be, really be easier for us if you could come closer because we're having trouble hearing you. <clears throat> Thank you. Square in town in Troy is a violation of Article 3 of Troy's zoning ordinance, which reads as follows. Okay, and then they describe that. Now, there is no description. 
And I came on the seventh month, which would be what, August? Okay, that was the letter from the selectmen that you received. Yep. And you re you received correspondence since then. Yeah, I'm not one of these pieces of paper that has no description. Well, you also received an injunction notice. Yep. Which has a description on it. Yep. Let me show you something. That should be this one right here. And when I spoke to Janet about it, I asked her to correct it because lot of map 3223 turns out belongs to the brother Gary Lang. What he did. So she apparently called the lawyers and said, oh, it was a little typo. No, she didn't call the, the lawyer. Someone, someone I called did. the lawyer. Okay. Someone did and said there's a little typo. The problem is. The descriptions of Gary's land up on the end of uh, Richmond Road. Richmond Road has nothing to do with me. No, that was uh, an error. I'm not sure where that occurred. Whether it was the size office or yes, yeah. it was a size office. Because he got a similar letter for a similar thing, and when they put the letters together, they just copied his information over. They shouldn't have done that, and they, they corrected it. But it, this does give a description. It says um, no land shall be used as a private dump for storage of abandoned vehicles or parts thereof. Or junk, scrap paper, rags, or discarded materials of any kind, nor used in any manner that is disorderly, unsightly, noxious, or detrimental to the public, or prejudic prejudicial to the general welfare. I'll, I'll admit that's not very specific, but that's just a, that's quoting the, um, the statute. Okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I should have a description of the materials or something that's out of order. Before I get to this point, and I had to ask Janet to collect this paperwork. Did she know who Gary Lang's land is? Because that's a problem. Okay, why the injunction is addressed to you with the correct lot and tax map number on it. That's right, the second page is a piece of junk. This, this but the letter itself is still... That description is incorrect. That's map 3223. It belongs to Gary Lang. It doesn't belong to me. Well, we have a letter from the attorney that he had corrected it. You should have further correspondence. Look, right here. No, That's since then. That's the corrected one. No. no we, we, we've seen that. That's In fact, as soon as we got our copy of it, we, we noticed it right away that it was wrong. We received the corrected one. There you go. You received the corrected one today? This is this is the one that she altered. No. May I see it? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. This is the one when I asked her, I took the suit and I brought it in and said, Hey Janet, this is kind of messed up somehow. Alright? Because I, I don't own 3223. Correct, we know that. Okay. So she takes this paper, which I consider a legal document, writes down on there like this and said, We'll have it fixed. And I said, You have to change the description because it doesn't work. The description is not my land. Okay, but we have a corrected letter since then from the attorney correcting that particular page. So you should have received it also. Well, this is the one this is the one right here that I received. Now while we're on this subject and I asked her if it Gary, when he lived next to the restaurant, had made this some kind of a machine for sawing up and splitting wood. And I had gone by and stopped and looked at it one time and he came out and kind of described it. So, I don't know how many months, a month or two ago, I was up on the end of the road and said, gee, that looks like Gary's machine. So then when I read this, I'm saying there has to be a description. So. I asked Janet, she said, well, um, that's Gary's land. And then she said to me, oh, well, that land is different. I said, what do you mean different? Is there a different zone? She says, yeah, he's, 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 he can have that stuff there. And I 
in my book is somebody's pulling the wall over somebody's no. eyes. Here's what happened. Um, we were dealing with this issue uh, with your property. It's totally separate. We were dealing with Gary Lang. Both sets of information went to the lawyer together, and one of the secretaries at the law firm put together the thing for Gary, and Gary's page two is the same as your page two. That's where the problem is. Then when they did that, a new page one for you, they mistakenly attached the page two for Gary to your letter. That's all that happened. So you, the complaint about your land has nothing to do with Gary Lang. It was just a mix-up in the letters. It says remove all junk, oil drums, and other debris from the property. Yeah. I don't have an oil drum. That's Gary Lang's page two, that's why. <laughs> that one was correct, supposedly correct. This is the one that we received today that he sent, that the attorney sent you. Did you check your mail today? Yeah. And it wasn't in there? I'm wondering if they're going to have the sheriff serve that. Could correct. be. You a question? Now back to back to this land for a moment. I don't mean to make this into a big story, but she said he could have that stuff there. And I said, is this, uh, and she said, well, this land is different. And I said, what do you mean? Is the zone different or something? She said, yeah, he can have that stuff there. Now, if I remember correctly, I voted against this junk, uh, this can't keep the right name, paperwork. Is this zone sensitive? No. Uh, the select board does not speak for Janet, and Janet does not speak for the select board. So anything that she said to you is between you and her. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. Well, then she shouldn't be uh, dealing with this stuff. I agree. Uh, <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, uh, I still don't know who complained, and, and it's all we have to come to the selections meeting to find out who complained. Okay, well, <coughs> because of litigation, we do not release the person that complained. Officially, officially three people complained, and that would be us three. And you're? Alan Bailey. Okay, and you're Chris, right? Yes. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Excuse me one second, Mr. Bowles. Did you have something you want to say, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and what is your name? Uh, Mark, M-A-R-K, yeah. Starin, S-T-A-R-I-N, uh, retired chief petty officer of the U.S. Navy, uh, okay. good friend of Brian's, yeah. uh, working with Liberty House in Manchester right now to address uh, Brian's issues. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, we can that we can leverage this to mitigate uh, Brian's situation with regard to ordinance, the ordinance violation. Uh, I don't have a timeline for you on when uh, Liberty House will be able to provide support uh, to help Brian. Brian's got <laughs> obviously the ordinance issue is a high priority, but he's got other issues inside his. Okay, Be well. before you go any further, keep in mind, this is being recorded and it's posted online. So don't say anything you don't want public. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, we're, we're trying to uh, help Brian address those issues so that he will not in the future have any issues with ordinance, uh, the ordinance <coughs> three, is it? Article three? Article three, I beg your pardon, yeah. the violation. Uh, I would be very happy to uh, give my name, uh, well, got my name obviously, but my address as well and my phone number, and I will be happy to stay in touch with the board uh, to give you uh, updates on uh, fixes that we hope to implement to help Brian out. Okay, according to the letter that he received, um, he has 15 days from the letter this from the day this letter was sent, which was October 31st. Okay. So we are almost to that point. Okay. Uh, uh, I live in Manchester. I, I don't live in Troy, so I'm, you know, I, uh, I'm only helping Brian because he's, he's a good friend. Uh, I don't know what the procedures are for uh, in the 
town for mitigating things like this extensions or whatever but i certainly like i said offered offering to be in touch with the board to try to help alleviate this problem so it doesn't keep reoccurring well could you i'm sorry go ahead as of this point it is now out of our hands it is in the hands of legal um we had given mr foley 60 days he had 30 days we then sent another letter giving him another 30 days then he received this notice from the attorney which gave him another 15 days okay so 15 days is now almost complete 15 days minus the last four days because the post office not open on well, uh, well, 75 days right correct oh, okay, okay so. but how do i know i mean if i go over there and swept everything off my land except the house would that be acceptable nobody's telling me whether that whether would I'm okay the, the, the answer to that car. question is yes that would be acceptable because then there would be nothing out front there right but before you go any further could you tell us something about liberty house yes sir liberty house is a uh, organization in uh, manchester <clears throat> that works uh throughout the state of new hampshire and helps and works with other veterans organizations down here in uh, Cheshire County as well as Coas and all the other counties in New Hampshire uh, to help veterans uh, who could become homeless, Brian's been homeless before, uh, who could become homeless, uh, keep them from becoming homeless again, uh, to try to help them, you know, have uh, good health care and other, help them with other issues that they may be facing. Um, Brian, I, I even though I'm a good friend of Brian, I've kind of s stayed out of this situation, but now it sounds like it's really kind of getting out of hand, and I'm hoping that we can, <coughs> excuse me, do something to uh, help Brian, because Brian's income is very limited, uh, and that is, uh, and I, I recognize the problem, uh, but Brian uh, does not have a lot of resources. Uh, and so I'm hoping that maybe somehow we could uh, work this out some way or another. And as I say, I'd be very happy to give my uh, my address, okay. phone number, stay in contact. Sure. Would you leave that information with Alyssa? Sh certainly be very happy. Thank you. Um, is Liberty House... Um well, what they could there weren't houses. It's not. It's not like there's a like a, a building where you house people or anything like that. Right. Well, there actually there is. Oh, there is. Okay. There is a building there. Uh, the homeless veterans are offered a, a place to stay. Get them off the street if that's their situation. Uh, and they also provide other support uh, to uh, veterans, outreach to veterans who may be having uh, trouble uh, of one sort or another. Um, as I say, I'm a retired chief petty officer, U.S. Navy. Uh, Brian is a uh, uh, was, is a Navy veteran, and so I feel uh, compelled to mm -hmm. help my shipmate whenever I can right. and try to alleviate this problem. And we certainly understand. We're veterans too. I served in <coughs> Vietnam, Curtis served in Afghanistan. Oh, all right, great. Thank you for your service. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll leave my address with and phone number, and it's. I just wanted to reemphasize that Brian's resources are. Limited. Understood. He has a fixed income. The main, the main thing we're looking for, and it, you suggested it, is just we just want the front of the place cleaned up so that well, it doesn't look like an eyesore when people are driving into trucks. So if we got a working party together, because Liberty House did mention this, they didn't say they'd guarantee it, but mm -hmm. they suggested it. If we got a working party together to get to square away the front, specifically the front, of the house that faces the street. And the north side, uh, did you see as you're coming down Route 12? Okay. Uh, to, to square well, that by, away. By the way, yeah. I heat with wood, and that's my fuel for the winter. Okay. So, and I don't have any of the land. When you walk around the back of my house, mm -hmm. you're actually walking on the railroad property. You're not on my property most of the way. That's how close it's cut. Right. There is no other place. Right, so we need some guidance. If, we, if right. we're going to put together a, a working party to okay. square that away, we need some guidance as right. to where... Well, let, let's put the, the firewood aside for just a second. I've noticed that there's a, if you're heating with wood, there's a propane tank sitting there. Yeah, I work, I find more glass. I'm sorry? 
I claim work oh, okay. glass as a hobby. Okay. And you can't put if you if you leave them inside the house. Yeah, you can't do that, right? No, that's that's a bad mistake. The other oh, thing that did happen is <laughs> my load of wood was brought before I was really prepared for it. Mm -hmm. And so that doesn't leave me a doorway to the back. Now there is a pile right by the guardrail yep. that has to go. And I was cutting them up because the kids next door wanted to burn some in their little fireplace thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and several things happened and I wasn't able to yeah, finish well, doing that. I know that needs to go. Brian had a heart attack which uh, made it very difficult for him to do any kind of lifting. Mm -hmm. uh, he's yeah. got medical documentation of that. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm just Thanks. curious. Mm -hmm. um, if you had an opportunity to move into one of the southwest things, you know, this building out at the end of Central Square, if you had an opportunity to move in there, would you do it? Yeah, because it costs too much. The other problem, I've been homeless. Have you been homeless? No. Oh. Anybody in here been homeless? I was homeless for three years because a house I paid half of was split between the three of us and it took them three years to sell it. This was 12 North Main Street. And then when it was all done and over with, I think I had nine thousand dollars, and I mm -hmm. bought that house, uh, and that was it. Okay. Uh, I have no nest egg or anything, and okay. I had I had to borrow three thousand dollars to get my silver on the road because I didn't have a car mm -hmm. Well, this place down here, the, this building, this one by Southwest, you don't. I don't think you do. You buy into that? Mm -hmm. It's uh, how do they work that. By what your income is. Yeah, you could live there for practically nothing. The question then would be, uh, could uh, now Brian, you own your 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 property, right? Yep. So the question would be, if he cleaned it, let's say he moved to that uh, uh, senior housing, yeah. and uh, he kept his property here, but he cleaned up the front because he has a has a lot of his equipment that he uses that's inside that building. Is that possible, or does he have to give that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what their rules are. Okay. This, from what I've done so far, every outfit, and this includes Stewart, I know they have uh, management up here at Granbury Hill. Okay. They have two units in Swansea. You have to go to each of those places and apply. It's, it's like sending every one of you a letter. Uh, in order to apply for the building in Jaffrey, you have to go over to Jaffrey and fill out their paper mm -hmm. form. It's not like most places where you go in and you fill out the paperwork and I say, well, we'll check and see whether there's an mm -hmm. apartment available. Yeah, I, I, I think they work that. differently here. Don't, don't, won't they even come here and do it? How do they do that? Usually they fill up Southwestern Community Services. And where are they? I'm keen off the, um, what's the one next to the Cumberland? Water Street. Water Street. Go okay. down there and there's a community right. way. All right. But you have a car, so you could go there, right? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, okay. yep. It's something to think about. Um, I mean, life would be a lot easier. Right. Well, that's a whole... You, you know, it, it, life might be a whole lot easier. Yeah, sure. Uh, I had an incident when I was living in Milford for a few weeks. I was going to live there for three months and work in an electronics place. And I got all my stuff moved in there that I needed to work and a couch and an easy chair. And the landlord came down and said, well, I just sold the building. Uh, you got 30 days to move your crap out of here. Well, that's not going to happen with Southwest. It's not going to happen with Southwest. You yeah. promise that? Put it right on paper and put um, whoever, uh, it's, it's, the it's the nature. It's the nature of what they do. They're not in business. No, in fact, they sold two of their units to uh, her drug recently. So they're getting the liquid. That wasn't the senior housing, stuff. though. Senior housing is something completely, completely different. Completely different. Senior housing, and then, then you've got this, uh, was Bowers, the big white building. Does anybody live in that place? If I could just 
Uh, I'll make an observation. The, not the thing part of this. Oh, pardon me. No, go ahead. Uh, if I could just make an observation on behalf of Brian, what, what I'm most concerned about, and I'm not a legal person. I was a radio man in the Navy. I was not a legal man. <laughs> but um, my, uh, my concern is the injunction. What is the nature of the injunction? Uh, is there a fine associated with it? And Brian has no legal representation in this case. He's all by himself. <coughs> how do we how do we deal with that? What she, what, uh, yeah, are there any pro bono attorneys who would be willing to represent him? And he would need to find that out. He would have to call legal aid and find out. Oh, okay. Is there a legal aid office in Keene? Uh, probably. Okay. Okay. Has uh, have you seen the injunction, Brian, at all? Yes, he signed for it. Oh, he did? Okay. Well, no, he signed. The injunction has not been put into force yet. But it's going to it, be soon. It will be. Right. Is there a fine associated with it? I'm sure there probably will be, plus all the costs oh, great. for cleaning it up. Fabulous. And if... Um, you're saying you're going to you're gonna force me to take the firewood, which is by heat, away? No, they didn't say that, Brian. They said we they we got to work we got to work that the wood part out. I'm trying to get somebody to go over there and say, okay, this is okay, that isn't okay, and then I say, okay, this is my land from there over to that post, over to this post. My grandfather taught me surveying when I was 12 years old. Okay, and if you want, I, I can go home. And do the calculation, give you the exact angles. Another thing is the town map shows a line going by, and then there's a little step like this. Now, someone moved my land a little bit like this so it wouldn't look like it was being driven over by the road. And so when I asked Janet, you know, what do I do to get that corrected? Oh, well. Here's a list of all the people who owned the, own the place for the last 50 years or whatever. That doesn't tell me anything. And when you look across my post and you look across the uh, next three places, you'll see a straight line. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about that. Right, and that has nothing to do with this. Right. Uh, well, no, but it's, it's a part of the problem over there. I can't get the answers from anybody. Brian, Brian excuse me for interrupting. Sure. Um, like I said, I'm, I think that injunction is a really the highest priority right now that we have to address. Do you, uh, so there's no information about a, the amount of the fine? Well, No, that is to be determined by the judge. Yeah, we point, have nothing to do with once, it. Once anymore. I went to the, to the, to the county, uh, it became their issue as opposed to ours. So the judge issues the injunction. If the injunction is not complied with, then the the judge can hold Brian in contempt. And okay, then could, but I don't could, have a description of what's illegal and, and, and what isn't. And you can explain that to the judge. We're talking about the procedure here. Um, so, so, uh, pardon me, yes, okay. uh, so, so Brian has now, before that, uh, he's got like basically a couple of days to get Correct. legal representation to, uh, at that hearing uh, where it's going to be determined what the fine is. Did, did, did I get that correct? Well, I, I think if there is a fine, it'll be farther down the road. Okay. Yeah, I, I think what would happen is, for, I, I don't even know how this works. If uh, Let's say he's gotten to what date? 15? He has 15 days from October 31st. Okay. Today's the 13th. Okay, so let's say that the 15th <coughs> comes and goes, and nothing's been done. How does the court know that? Well... Psi will apply to the court at that point for an injunction. So in other words, the, the next action is from us. No, it's from Psi. <clears throat> because well, Psi works I, for us, so. Correct, but I have... Who, who I, is Psy? Psy? Know a lawyer. Unless somebody tells them that it has to be... No, 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 because that's how the process right. works. The process... So potentially we could uh, stop he, it He's right the now. town attorney. He's the one who sent <laughs> the information to the court on our behalf. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and this is the but first step. But why would Cy do that unless he hears from us? Because this is the first step right. that precedes the injunction by law the attorney has to do. Okay. Okay. He was instructed by me to do the injunction. 
Okay, all right. Please. So he's got he's got his marching orders. He does. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. And, and 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 you're following the uh, town ordinances. We are doing the next step. Right. He, because because during this process, he did receive an additional thirty days. Everybody okay. else would have received only the thirty days. Okay. 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 So he received thirty. Then he received another thirty yeah. and did not act within that 60 days at all. We never heard from him, never saw him. Okay. There was nothing that transpired. All right, all right. understand. Um, so I guess uh, I guess we'll have to get hot and make, make something yeah. happen uh, in terms of working this out somehow or another. Uh, where, <coughs> which one, sir, go ahead. No, I'm all set, sir. Where, where would you put the wood if you had to move it? I don't have a place. I have point zero five acres, and that includes across the front mm -hmm. and a parking space, which the state said <coughs> the edge of the buildings here. The state said, "Well, we'll put it from here to here on the land." Okay. All right. But when they came and put it in, they moved the side over halfway over to the corner of my building. Mm -hmm. So I have a driveway to pull. You Did pull. you actually go into your building a little bit with the measurements? Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. That they I complained to you about it. Yeah. Because they said it would be from here to here, which would have been basically the end of my building to, the, to where they're going to make this entrance off of the road. By the way, it took me over five years to get that, and it should have been 90 days according to law. Uh, nobody wants to own up to that, but they said, oh, we're going to put it right here. But what they did, they actually put it there. Now, another thing they did, and I brought the pin in and complained to the previous selectman, that they had dug my pin up, and when I, when I asked the guy in the excavator to stop and go and get the engineer, and the engineer said, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I thought corner posts iron post bars or whatever that delineates your land was sacred. You never take those away. Yeah, that's what I thought. What happened? I was ignored by the selectmen. Because <coughs> yeah. so a portion of my land, the tail end of my land, goes out into the road. About the spot from the edge of the mm -hmm. curb. Yeah. It's on a straight line from those foot well, well, that's not unusual. A lot of a lot of property works like that where the right away goes over it. Not, I'm not trying to box you around the corner, but first off, before they can take land to put highway on, they have to go through a legal procedure. And they didn't. Mm -hmm. And when I complained to the selectman, they didn't do it that. Oh, okay. But there's a new board sitting here now. Right. So right. we right, that is in but the just, past. No, the other thing is I've been there for 12 years and I've had wooden, wood and other things in the front of my house for years. Well, <coughs> it, Brian, excuse me for interrupting. I, I'm, like I said, retired chief petty officers. Chief petty officers are in the business of making things happen and fixing things. And like I said, the first thing that I thought of, first priority was, is obviously injunction. The second almost highest priority is squaring away that wood. What if he heats his house with wood, and he doesn't have a place to stow it? What does he do? Is there? I don't know. That's what the complaint is about the wood. No, it's about the complaint is overall, about your all the parents. debris outside. Yeah. Now, Everything. before because I we see, do have an ordinance against that. Before right, the wood uh, being the least of the worries over there, it's the front of the building. So why don't? Well, Wednesday I stop by, I'm in class tomorrow, Wednesday I stop by, we'll look at that and we'll figure out what to do to clean the front of the building up, where to put the stuff, and then we'll work on the wood issue. Before, I don't mean to interrupt you, but before the August letter came, I had already cleaned up 10 big construction bags I had sitting on the wood pile until mm -hmm. the next check came in so I could take them to the dump. Since then, there's been another eight or nine construction bags that have been taken out of there. Well, you, well, you have that. Let me know. I will take care of that rubbish to the dump. Okay. I've got two we'll, bushel bags and there's a few other items. Take care of that. So, okay. Well, a 
cost. Before we notify Cy, because Cy's got his marching orders that we asked until the 15th. But potentially we could actually stop him right now for doing this, for moving forward, correct? Because um, he's waiting for the word from us. That's no, why I was, that's he why isn't I was asking wait, for the no, procedure. No, no, no. He isn't waiting for the, the word from us. He received the word from me that we wanted an injunction put on the property. That is, that is what I told Cy. According to law, you cannot just take them to court. They need to have notification ahead of time. Not Ours did not count. By law, before the injunction can be put into procedure through the court, they have to have notification of a period of time so they can clear the property. That's what he was given. I don't think so how is Cy going to know that he didn't do it within the right amount of days unless you guys let him know yeah. that he didn't... Well, I'm sure Cy will contact me. So Okay, so, but my point is, uh, and I think this is uh, Curtis's point too, Cy is not going to proceed with this unless he hears from us? No, I'm sure until he contacts me. Right, because otherwise he doesn't know if it's been cleaned up. Correct. Okay. Unless he drives by. Now, he did drive by last so, week. I'll okay. tell you that. So okay. we, can, we can technically give him marching orders again that says, okay, hold off for right now. Give it another, we'll say, just throw an arbitrary number out there, 30 days, and we'll proceed after that. Potentially. Okay, so right we're now. going to pay him to do this all over again. Well, we don't have to. If the place is already getting cleaned up, and it will be cleaned up by then, we don't... He's already done the work. The work is going to be completed and get cleaned up. And I've also asked for a description or somebody go over there and say, this is no good, that's no good, this is good, that's okay, that isn't any good. Sorry that's what we'll point. discuss on Wednesday. Okay? Yep. Okay. I, I, would, I would start out with the assumption that nothing in front is good. Okay? That's my land. I know, I know. But right. the same the same rules apply to everyone, not just you. It's everyone in town. Yeah, we had a case recently. We had somebody on West Hill Road who had uh, uh, various items in his yard, and he had to clean it up. And I, I drove by there. He actually had one of those big long dumpsters out there for uh, about three weeks while he was cleaning it up. But he got it cleaned up. Mm -hmm. well, so let me ask you if a question. If he puts a fence up that covers what is the problem. He it's doesn't have the problem. He's not enough land. One foot away mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's what my question was. Yeah. If it was in the, within the, the variance. <coughs> if I put a fence around my property, I would be going out into the side of the road about this far from the curbing. Yeah, you can't. You don't have and enough. About, I'm paying taxes on that land until somebody takes that by legal right. The state does not own that piece. Chief that get this in a reminder. The state just doesn't, doesn't just drive through the backyard and say, hey, we're going to put a boat in here. Brian, excuse me for just a second. Chief, if, uh, with your permission, I, I'd like to help out on Wednesday if I can. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, you tell me when uh, I should stop by. What's a good time for you, Brian? Anytime after nine, usually. Okay. Now, I have a bunch of appointments for doctors because of. On Wednesday? No, no. We'll see. Wednesday is. What's the date? The 15th. 15th, Brian. Okay. We'll say 9 o'clock. <coughs> oh, 900? I see. I got to be in court in the morning. So, if we make it in the afternoon. Yep. Six bells, was that? <laughs> yeah. So. So and what's that little whistle? That'd be two bells. Like oh, two bells. Yeah, clock, right? <laughs> Who's going to blow the pee whistle? So, 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 yeah. so 1,300 thereabouts. I'll, I'll show up around noon time. Just stand when back. When we say it. 11. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be out. I'll be back by then. Okay. Sure. I'll certainly be glad to have it on the We'll just way I can. have to wait it out. All right. So do we have to make a motion that instead of acting on this on the 15th, that we postpone it out? Why don't we do this? Why don't we go two weeks? Since we're not meeting next week, we'll, um, what is the deadline on our 15th? We'll go to the 30th. Okay. You okay with that part? Yeah. I'm good with you that. You good with that? Brian, are you okay with that? Um, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> well, I, I just want to know if you're comfortable with it. Well, what we're saying is here, we're, we're going to hold, we're going to 
All right, appreciate Put it. Put Cy on hold. All right, but my statement right now is yeah. I will call Cy at 8 in the morning. I yeah. know I'll get him. But if this is in process, if the injunction is in process, okay. um, what do you want to do? We will be paying two bills then at that point. Well, I don't think the injunction could be in process yet because we haven't reached that, that date and the court hasn't been notified that he's not in compliance. Correct. Okay, you're hoping. But so I'd, yeah. I'd say we just put it on hold for right now. All right, so that, since yeah. we're not meeting next week, we'll go two weeks in the night. Okay, so that will it. be the 27th. So we'll let's put that on the agenda for two weeks in the night. It'll be the 4th of December, I believe. Is that right? No, November 27th. It's 27th. So it's two weeks. That's right, that's right. That's so, Brian, that's what we got 15 days. We got to swear away, buddy. Got to make it happen. That should be plenty of time. Yeah. yeah, no problem. And who is the ter determining yeah, person the as to whether it's in compliance or not? Three of us. Okay. So one of you is going to come over and say, this is okay, that isn't okay. No, that would I, be... I, I don't, I don't buy the fact the that the whole front of my building has to be clear. Well, we'll, we'll square it away, Brian. Hey, Brian. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know the house is on the corner of Old Keene Road and Route 12? If you've ever looked in the back, they got all kinds of whirly gates and this plants and everything else. Now, according to what Janet told me, that place wouldn't be in performance either. Well, then I'll repeat what I said before. <coughs> Janet does not speak for this board. This board does not speak for Janet. Right. Well, I want you to know that Janet's trying to sweep some stuff under the table. I don't buy that. All right, Brian, we'll square it away. She's misled. She tried, attempted to mislead me on several issues. All right. Janet? Yeah. No sweat, Brian. We'll square it away. Okay. We'll make it happen. Thank you so Thank much you, for your allowing me to participate uh, as a non resident. Appreciate your coming. Hey. What shipmates are for. <laughs> thank you for your service. Too. Oh, thank you. Didn't do much. You guys did all the work. I, I just sat there and listened to radios for thank you. Years. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Anybody yeah. else? Thank you very much. Okay. I'll see you Wednesday. Wednesday, 1100. Yeah. You got my number. Yeah. If you, if you don't, I'll give it to you right now if you want. I'll take it again in case I. Well, it's recording, too. It's recording, though. So, I haven't write it down. The hotel will have it. <laughs> <laughs> I got one last question. It could be a deal A and B in mail, mail because they don't use the post office box. Now, well, when you have to sign for something, you do not get it in your box. You get a slip. Well, I'm saying that whoever sent this paperwork did not put a box number in my address. So, fortunately, the postmaster knew who I was. So, after he saw the mail a day later, he put it in my box. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, they same thing happens with me. don't have any trouble with tax bills. They don't have any trouble with water and sewer with my address. Box with a box on there. We've had post office for a hundred years or more. Do we have his box number? Just Dave, when you get his phone, we get all his information. But the post office box and. Okay, correct mailing address. Okay, come on. Box one, Federal Square. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you again. You're welcome. Okay, what else? Any comments? Mm -hmm. That was the right thing to do. Yeah. Given the extension, now he has help. He needs some direction. He needs somebody to go over and tell him exactly what he needs to do. I was very glad to see uh, a gentleman here tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've done a couple of runs, motorcycle runs for the Liberty House. They're yeah. actually good. I've not heard of them before. Uh, it's a very big organization, uh, CVMA, Combat Vets Motorcycle yeah. Association, do yeah. a constant um, motorcycle runs and yeah. everything and okay. raise money for Had them. you met Mark before? I have not, no. Um, but I know that Liberty House does do a lot. All right. uh, for veterans. Now, is that just New Hampshire or is that a national organization? <coughs> I want to say it's national. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Right. Yes, I know. Yes. It is. It is? Yes. Okay. 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 Madam Chairperson. Okay. I make a motion that we end the meeting. <laughs> we'll see if anybody else has anything you want to say. Do you, do you have any more comments that you would like to make before we adjourn? Well, we got Bob Norton still coming in for non-public. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. about that. So when we do that, he's doing it at 8. A6, 17? Is he, is he out there? there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So All right, but on. since what, what normally happens is we go into non-public, and that means we have to clear the room. And when we're done with non-public, we'll go back into public session, but the only thing we're going to do then is adjourn. So there's not much point in sticking around. Right, and does anybody else have any comments they'd like to make? No. Okay. Thank you all for coming. David, do you have my folder? Or is that yours? This is it's yours. yours. Yeah, I got mine. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Okay, thank you, Dave. Dave. I got all the info. I'll give it to my mom. Okay. Can I listen to the non-public Say again? Can I listen to the non-public I can't hear what you're saying. She would like to. Is Bob coming in? Melissa will get on the way out. Yeah. We're kicking her out because it's not public. Okay. I move that we go into non-public session, but before we do that, we need to know what section of RSA 91A we're using. What do, generally is it? Involving the hiring of a public employee or compensation or something that would be embarrassing to somebody? Um, how would you put it? And then I'll give you the appropriate Personnel citation. Issue. Personnel, Personnel issue. issue. There you go. All right, let me find the uh, correct citation. How about this? The dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee, or the disciplining of such employee, or the investigation of any charges against him or her, etc. Does that sound like what you want to do? The next yeah. one is? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going into non-public session. I, I move that we go into non-public session. Uh, under the provisions of RSA 91A, colon 3, Roman numeral 2, parenthesis, lowercase a, the, uh, everything I just said. <laughs> Let me just go over it again. That'd be the dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee, or the disciplining of such employee, or the investigation of any charges against him or her. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. We are in non-public session at 8.21 p.m. We are out of non-public and back into public at 8.49. I move to adjourn. I move to seal the minutes. Okay. Of Second. the non-public session. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now I move to adjourn at 8.49. I second. All in favor? Or oh, you say that. I was <laughs> going to. All in favor? This is worse. Aye. This is worse.